Hello beer tubers and happy 12th of December. Peter the master of Hoppets today joined by Tobias, major of macros, and Brits of Anomyces for the master of Hoppets grand Christmas calendar with another beer. Yeah. As not every beer. single freaking day. <laughs> Cheers. A new beer, new day. Yeah. New, new beer, new day. Yeah. I supplied the beer for this episode. So I'm not gonna unwrap this. Do you want to? I will. Fred is doing so, the unwrapping. So are you guys excited? Uh, As yes. I told Peter, this looks like cream. Like... <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, it looks skin, like a cream box. Like like skin, yeah. skin cream packaging. Yeah, uh, yeah it is. It yeah. is. Uh, so I actually, this is just... The reason me. why is because Peter didn't package this himself. No, so. That was my girlfriend. Yeah. I, I, my, my wrapping skills are shit. Peter's wrapping skills are so bad that yeah, <laughs> I knew, it. I knew, I knew it. it would come. Stilenacht, which vintage? This year's. Fresh 2020. You see that again. Interesting. So, yeah, wow. 2020 bottle. I'm actually pretty excited to taste this beer. Have you ever had it? Yes, once. I think it was 17. This is from the Dolle Brewers. Yeah. And this is one of the most famous uh, Christmas beers of Belgium. Belgium has a big tradition of making these strong Christmas ales. And the Dolle is one of the more famous ones. For example, this beer needs to lager for at least a month before it's being released. Yeah. And uh, it's the strongest beer they do at the brewery. Finishing gravity is 21 Play-Doh. That's like making Imperial style, yeah. but it's a Belgian <laughs> blonde. <laughs> That so, is pretty crazy. Uh, Style-wise, it's a Belgian strong gold nail, Belgian strong blonde nail. Uh, you can call it Belgian Christmas beer. Mm. It's a lot of people say, yeah, it's not. It's just it's still not. Yeah. Uh, this year's vintage made it to an ABV of. Let's see, it's right here somewhere on the bottle. Twelve percent. Yeah, twelve percent. And it's bottled. Wow. Twenty twenty. So. Yeah, but. Yeah, it doesn't say. Yeah. It just says, yeah, usually we still actually just have the bottle on here. Yeah. On yeah, the yeah. So it's a fresh bottle. Yeah. Uh, fresh just has a, a generous hop character. Or one or two months. Whereas yeah. old, it gets more like, you know, uh, like, yeah, it's, I don't want to say fudgy, but it's like candy sugar like and more like you get a bit more than like the kind of Belgian yeast flair. Fresh, you get some of that too, but you also get some hoppiness, some brightness, a little bit of dryness. But yeah, you guys never had still an act? Nope. I, I had. I think I had it back in six, uh, 17 or eighteen. Wow. Still an act reserva is amazing. Like hates this beer. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why, but he says it tastes like homebrew. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why, but well, I like still an act. I've had this beer. I remember times. liking it. When I started the channel, this was the, one of the first high grades I ever gave. I gave this like a 98 or a 100. Mm. Just so you wow. know. Wow. But that's t over 10 years ago. Okay. So you haven't reviewed it since? I've tried it since. I think I've done a couple of episodes made with it. Okay. I've done the Reserva. Okay. But we're trying yeah, it. I guess you won. There we go. No, give I'm not going to give it a 98, 98 100 now. 100 now don't, don't rule that out. Don't rule it okay. out. Okay, I'll shut my mouth. Uh, we we have an open mind no. here. Yeah. But classic Belgian beer, you know. The Dolle makes some fantastic beers. They have you ever had Boskun, the Christmas beer, or Arabia? Those are fantastic. I've had Arabia once. Or, or Special Reserva, which is kind of like a, a Flemish Old Brun. Fantastic stuff too, which I think is red wine barrel. Thing is that, or at least there's a red wine barrel. Something beer. like. Uh, these they didn't have too much at the wall and that's no. primarily where I got my Belgian beer education but so the dollar say. is also the off-centered of a lot of the yeah. more classic Belgian brewers yeah and it is a bit more experimental right? yes a bit more and weird. that's why a lot of these places didn't have it when I started my channel a little over 10 years ago I started reviewing a Christmas calendar from Ulkonsorbil mm -hmm. and one of the beers in the calendar was this that's why I reviewed it, along with Cheese's Reserva from uh, Destruise. Yeah. Which is also a very classic or iconic Christmas beer. I said 21, it's 22 Play Doh, by the way. Uh, and yeah, it's, as I said, it's lagered, it's, uh, you know, fermentation takes place in open copper fermentation vats. Yeah, I've seen a video from so, a brewery. It's, 
It's like, very unique, classic yeah. beer. So I, 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 I'm really excited about this because I haven't had a, a bottle of Stillnack in a long time. In terms of color, it looks like what you expect from like a Belgian golden or a Belgian yeah. blonde. Yeah, it looks like uh, Ovel or something. Color yeah, ones. so it's like copperish, yeah. orange. Yeah. Light copper, maybe. Yeah. It looks darker on yeah, camera. Yeah, yellowish copper. But it's fun to see it aged because it gets really dark because mm. of oxidation. Like mm. some of the aged bottles I've had have been really dark. Mm. Why is that? Let's check out the aroma. Very classic Belgian. Yeah. yeah. Uh, lots of really like stewed pear for me mm. and stewed apple. Yeah, just like apple. stewed, stewed, um, like almost fruit. Like spiced apple and pear yeah. too. Yeah. Like yeah. Peppery, yeah. Clovey. Clovey, cinnamony almost. Uh, getting close to the, the peppermint. Yeah. 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 This yeah, is vanilla. Very classic beer, guys. Mm. OG beer. I love the like aroma. Like a on breadiness this. too. For twelve percent beer, I think it smells fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I've never been the big, the biggest like. It's uh, like pear cake or apple cake. Uh, or something. Yeah, yeah, or, or like a pie. pear pudding or something. Yeah. It smells like pear or apple puddings that you'd have for Christmas because it has like the phenolic edge. Yeah. But I, what I was saying is like it's be Belgian beer was never my all-time favorite, but the Belgian Christmas beers I've always really loved, mm -hmm. and that's why I thought I'd bring this on because I think Stillacht <laughs> is fantastic. Fantastic beer, but the Reserva is amazing. It's wine barrel aged. Is it? Yeah, that's barrel aged. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's a big time. That like candy sugar. It's got like a, a big phenolic profile, but also big esters. Mm. But it's spicy. It's it screams like classic Belgian beer. But this one is maybe a, like compared to a lot of the other classic Belgian beers, it's a little less sweet because yeah. you don't have all the dark malts and candy kind of sugar. Spiciness. It's just a bit more like spiciness and brightness. And breadiness, yeah. What do you think, Tobias? Yeah, as as I said, to me it's it, it's bordering in on the on the peppermint. I don't yeah. agree at all that it smells like homebrew. <laughs> I don't know. No, why no, he it doesn't no, have that starchy, yeah. grainy thing. At Maybe all. he tried a lot of homebrewed Belgian beer. Yeah. I don't know. Not Let's try it. But it definitely enough. has this it's yeasty peppermint. Big time beer, yeast, but it's yeah. Belgian beer. Yeah. yeah. Let's try it. Really phenolic. Yeah. Spicy. So much like really, profile. It's like really sweet up spicy, and then like dry. Sweet. Like sweet and dry. I think spicy, it's spicy, sweet and dry. Yeah. It's very contradicting to other Belgian Christmas yeah. ales because it's like mm. It's not all sweet. It has a big dryness. Like aftertaste right now, I think is very dry. I'm getting like a cardamom. Yeah. I don't. I, I know you don't like cardamom too much. But I hate I'm actually, cardamom, but yes, I but see. I'm actually getting a cardamom kind of thing to it. For me, it's low to stewed apple, low to stewed pear, um, like jammy fruitiness. There's almost like white grape vineyard quality to it as well. And then like you have just like like. Very mold stewed fruits. I'm like mostly getting that like spicy, sweet pear and apple. Yeah, for me it's like uh, almost like if you did a Glück or Glühwein with apple Glühwein or something yeah. like that, because it's like that mold sweet yeah. fruit flavor, mm. but with a festive spice. Yeah. But it doesn't taste like it's spiced. It tastes like yeast spice. Yeah. It tastes like this yeasty clove, yeasty phenolic peppery flavor. Yeah. So. Uh, the, 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 the sweetness is kind of, kind of re reminiscent of a uh, pie crust. Yeah. 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 Kind of. Yeah. 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 And also like just the pear or apple you have in the pie. Mm. Like the sweetness. Yeah, like baked sugar. Baked pie uh, or baked apple or baked yeah. Uh, pear. Yeah, yeah. And then you you spice it with some cinnamon or cardamom or. Yeah. But so peppery sorry. and dry. Yeah. There's like hop character too. Yeah. yeah. Like compared to so much. Belgian Christmas beer, this really stands out because mm -hmm. it's, yeah, well, it's strong, like all of them, 12%. It's mm, stronger than most, mm. but it's bright and it's fruity and flavorsome. I think it has a little it's bit of too caramel heavy tones. At all. No, but with age, what I remember is it goes into more caramel toffee tones because of oxidation. Yeah. And also the color, you know, when you see that, like, this is quite bright golden yellow orange. But with age, a bottle of Stillenacht is much more like copper, mm. which is, uh, yeah, a complete different f flavor. But yeah, I think this is great classic beer.
and this, this is, is uh, it's nothing like homebrew. <laughs> no, I don't know why you'd say that. No. I think this is like if you talk, I, and I, I, to be honest, if, if you talk about Belgian beer, this is kind of like against the norm of classic ben Belgian beer, even because classic Belgian Christmas beer, a lot of it is very dark and heavy. Mm. This is also heavy, but it has brightness and singiness. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess that's why a lot of people call it one of the original like Belgian or just craft breweries because it it was a bit against the norm. And I see that, mm. uh, but I think this is a phenomenal beer. I've always loved it in art. It's like like a ninety four, I think, fresh ninety. I like it a bit more old ninety three, ninety four. Uh, yeah, very good beer. The Reserva is much better, especially a, a bit old, because you get all those tannic wine structure flavors too, but. It's what I remember it. Yeah. Like. I was thinking 90, 93, 91. From here. From here. Yeah. What do you guys think? What do you think? You gave the lowest grade. I gave the lowest grade. I think, um, I mean, Belgian beer, uh, it's, hard, it's hard to cut it across the border, but, but this, these kind of gold nail disc uh, Belgian beers, I think that. There's something to them that, for me, that, that gives them the sweetness that I don't really enjoy. I, that I think so it's much. maybe esters and yeast. Yeah, yeah, maybe the, esters, maybe the esters, esters or the phenolics or whatever. But but that that's why I graded it a little bit lower. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I get. The, I, I, the thing is, I never was into Belgian beer except a few mm -hmm. select breweries. Like for me, when I was getting into Belgian beer, Saint Bernardus. Uh, Rochefort and uh, Oval. Oval, and then also like uh, the Dolle with their Stillenacht. But Oval also to some extent Delirium actually, but mm. yeah, also, like the Winter uh, beer Delirium. from uh, Winter Delirium is awesome, but it's a uh, quite heavy beer. But something like Oval is not heavy at all. No. But yeah, is pretty heavy. I think no. a 93, 94 is a very good grade mm. for this beer. I think it's great, but with barrel aging. Yeah. Should we go for a... Uh... Oh yeah! <laughs> no, oh yeah. yeah! I was like, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. um, Christmas mm, Favorite Christmas dessert? Christmas pudding. Every skewer. Yeah. yeah, probably every skewer. Probably every skewer. Shit! Now the hey, we're we're skewer. Done. Done. Oh, that's so perfect! Next episode, next episode. <laughs> But yeah, okay, we're gonna wrap it now because we, we need to get the food ready. So I agree that, with you guys, Eberskewer. So that doesn't. If you don't like cardamom, what's going on? But <laughs> you know, Eberskewer doesn't have as much cardamom no, as fucking I, Swedish bacon. I, right? I agree. Swedish baking goods are like cardamom. That filled with cardamom. But awesome having still knocked again. This is a fantastic beer. Brett, I'm. 93. Yeah. 91. 93 for me. Fantastic stuff. Uh, aged, I think a little bit better, just like a couple of years of age. But yeah, this is a classic. If you haven't had it, get some still enough. And stay tuned to, for tomorrow because we already spoiled it. We're gonna have Amber Skewer. It's another day of Advent, and I can eat. We usually don't pair it like that, but we're going to. So see you tomorrow for another episode of the Master Puppets Grand Christmas Calendar. Uh, cheers, and see you then. And subscribe and all this stuff. All that <laughs> shit. Cheerio. Cheerio.